One of the things I've noticed recently on both my Nvidia Shield as well as my on 4K Pro is after a few days of just using the device, everything just seems to become very, very slow. I notice that when I'm navigating around, when I'm opening applications, it definitely feels like things are not running as fast as they should, especially on a premium device like the Nvidia Shield Pro. Now, somebody recently said to me, oh, just double tap home. This way you can see what's running in the background. We can see on my device, I've got 2B TV running. I can close that down. We have YouTube running. I can close that down. If I double tap home again, it now shows me that there's nothing running in the background or seemingly in the background, which is why when I opened up this application, which is called the background apps and process list, which actually shows you exactly what's running in the background. I was pretty shocked to see that on my video shield, I have 53 applications open in the background. So no wonder my device is running a bit slow or a bit sluggish because if it's keeping certain elements of these applications open, if they're using up some amounts of my RAM, some of my CPU resources, then invariably things would be slow on my device. So what can you do? Well, firstly, I will show you exactly where you can get this application. I know for some reason it has been taken out from the Play Store in many regions, but I'll show you exactly where you can get this on all of your devices. But the easy thing you can do here is, let's say, for example, I don't want this running in the background. I can press the select button here. I can now select four stops. So this will now properly terminate this application. So it's not running in the background anymore. And we can see we're now down to 52 applications running in the background. Now, of course, you can select multiple applications by going at the top here and select close multiple. And let's say, for example, I want to close these three. One, two, let's do two for now. Let's go to the top and select close selected apps. I can now click on full stop, click on OK, click on full stop for the next application, click on OK, click on back. And we can see we're now down from 52 down to 50 applications. Now, as you can appreciate, especially when you are opening up many applications, this can take a long time to manually go through these regularly and close things off. And that's exactly why I created the TDUK app killer which will basically properly close down every application you've got running on your device with one click in less than a few seconds. On top of that, you can actually whitelist applications. So you can say, for example, I always want to use this application, the F launcher, or I always want to use this application. You can add them to the whitelist, which then means they'll never be full stopped. Everything else will get instantly stopped, but those two applications or many applications as you want will always stay running on your device. So let's demonstrate that now. Let's press the home key. Let's open up the TDUK app killer, which is available directly on the Google Play Store. Let's click on that. So the first thing you have to do is make an ADB connection. So you will have to enable your developer options, then turn on either network debugging or USB debugging. Now, as I'm doing this on NVIDIA Shield Pro, I can go to device preferences, go down into where it says developer options. And we can see on my device, I've just turned on where it says network debugging. That's now enabled. If you have a different device like the on 4K Pro or the Tiva Stream, on those devices, you select USB debugging, you turn that on. Once you've done that, we go back to my application. Now I can now select, let's make a connection via ADB. So let's do that now. Let's click on always allow. And we are now connected. And the first thing we can see here once we're connected is you actually have the option to count background running applications. So this again is a true count of things running in the background. So if I press the select button there, it says 50 things running in the background. So this is just a way you can confirm that this application is accurate because it is correctly looking at the background applications, these ones here, and they're both total 50. So both these are in sync, which shows that they can properly count the things running in the background. Let's go back to application. Let's count one more time. 50 things running in the background. Now, before I just click on full stop all apps, let me show you the whitelist. So let's click on that now. And basically this is now scanning all of the applications on your device and you can quickly choose which applications you want to keep running in the background. So let's say, for example, most people use their VPN, for example, maybe a mouse toggle. Now in my demonstration, let's, uh, let's do my VPN. Let's start one there. That's done. Let's also do um, Netflix. I never want to stop Netflix for whatever reason. And one more. Uh, let's just do something that was running in the background. I think the speed test was running. So we've now added in three applications. So if they were running, they will not be full stopped. So let's go back. Whitelist is now saved automatically. Let's now do a final count. 50 things running in the background. I can now click on full stop all apps. Three, two, one. 
it tells me 46 of those applications have now been instantly four stopped. So it left four of them open. Now, one of them is obviously going to be the TDUK app killer because the application is not going to four stop itself. And I'm guessing the other three will be the ones that we've whitelisted. So let's go to exit. That's the correct way to exit out the application. Let's open up the background apps and process list and we can see four applications are still running in the background. So that just properly proves that all 46 applications were properly closed and the ones remaining were the ones that we added to the whitelist. So definitely saves time, really makes it easy, keeps your device running at optimal speeds. And if you do find your Android TV or your Google TV device running a bit slow, I'll definitely double check to see what's running in the background. So let's back out of this. Now, if you do want to get the latest version of this application, I will give you the downloader code for that. So open up Downloader and just type in the short code 2190800 and click on Go. This will take you directly to the download page. We can download the latest version of this application. And I do recommend, even if you don't want to buy the TDUK app killer, which costs $1.99, it is a lifetime license. You buy it once and you can install it on as many devices as you like. So it doesn't matter if you've got three Android TVs or five Google TV devices, one license will cover all of them and you will get lifetime updates. If you scroll down and you'll click on this green download button here. And this will download the latest version on your device. And again, even if you don't want to use a TDK app killer, you can always use this application, manually close things down and your device will definitely run better than with all these things running in the background. So really appreciate your support. Do like and share this video. Do leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.